Dunes develop where wind-blown sand becomes trapped by specialised dune-building grasses such as marum grass. From windswept ridges to damp hollows called slacks, the range of conditions supports a surprisingly rich variety of wildlife. Sand dunes are consequently of exceptionally high nature conservation interest. The shape, size and position of the dunes may change depending on local wind and wave conditions. Dune stability, acidity and local hydrological conditions are all key factors in determining wildlife diversity. Sand dunes develop in the intertidal zone and where onshore winds are prevalent. In total, there are some 56,000 hectares of sand dunes widely distributed around the UK coast. Some of the most extensive dune systems are found in the Western Isles and the Inner Hebrides. The bare open sand of highly mobile four dunes which are still actively building is a hostile environment for most plants, but provides ideal habitat for many nationally scarce invertebrates. Sand lizards can sometimes be found in these habitats. These are one of the UK's rarest vertebrates, and use bare sand to lay their eggs in. Salt resistant grasses such as marum and sand couch are amongst the first plants to colonise such areas, binding the loose grains of sand with their creeping underground stems and trapping sand around their shoots and gradually starting to stabilise the sand. Other plants such as sea holly and sea spurge may also take root in the more sheltered leeward side of the dunes. Orchids are amongst the wetland species which can flourish in the wet hollows between the dune ridges. As the dune system stabilises and the sand is enriched by decaying vegetation and animal manure, the variety of plants and animals increases. The pioneering dune building species are replaced by species more typical of grassland habitats. Sand dunes attract many birds, particularly shell duck which nest under bushes or in abandoned rabbit holes, moving down the shore at low tide to feed on worms and snails.